Hello everyone, obi Dam here and welcome to Let's Play Against the Storm, the roguelite survival city builder by Aeromite Games, which releases to early access today, October 18th. Aeromite Games sent me a key to the game to check it out and give you some content so you can check out if you want to get the game yourself, feel free to do so. Link to the game is in the description below. I played the Woodlands demo that was available on the Steam Fest, Steam Next Festival thingy a couple of weeks or months back, I, I think. Um, I'm pretty interested to see what changed so far. The, the main menu still looks pretty the, the, much the same. I haven't done anything yet, so the game is in brand new status. Um, and we will just give it a try. The world is plagued by the Blight Storm, a vile cycle of destruction ravaging everything in its path. The only safe haven is the smoldering city where the mysterious Scorched Queen reigns. You are one of her viceroys, a pioneer sent into the wilds, tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. Your goal is to help rebuild the smoldering city and secure the future of the Queen's subjects. All right, and here we are in our first settlement. Okay, it looks like that this is the tutorial. Uh, neglecting your village will increase the queen's impatient and bring her wrath upon you. Okay, so we have to... Uh, queen's impatient will grow by 0 0.15 per minute. And fulfilling our duties will increase the town's reputation and unlock new buildings. Pick a new building. Okay, let's do that. Uh, first building is... The woodcuppers camp of course that that sounds good because we are surrounded by forest uh, space to resume okay so we can can change the game speed quickly check it's yes yeah, it's the one two one two five keys um okay ah, here we go we have three humans we have three beavers and we have three lizards <laughs> some that <laughs> that there are so many um base builders releasing that have beavers that was Timberborn released a couple of weeks back, and now we have against the storm with more beavers. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and just um, place a woodcarter's camp. Oh, wait a second. Right here. Okay, there we have our tasks. So we should build two woodcarter's camp and grab ten wood. That sounds doable. So let's place a second camp um, right here also go ahead and build some path I usually like to surround at least the main building with path completely um, okay so now we have the woodcutters camp yeah that's all pretty much the same as it was in the demo so we will assign all the beavers to the woodcutters camp and then tell them to um, yeah, unlock the glades. So just make sure that the beavers can cut the way uh, through here to unlock the glades because we can find more resources. Um, and from now we will just do humans. Okay, so this was already fulfilled, which is great. So now we get three additional beavers, so we can change these to be beavers as well, which is great. And we can unlock a new building, the forager's camp. Starting point for foragers, going out in the wild to gather vegetables, insects and grain. Okay, so I guess we should just build one of these. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Everything that can be collected by a third building will be highlighted. So looks like the foragers can collect all of these so we'll build it right here connect that with the road the road is optional as far as I know you don't need that but it will increase the speed of your villagers by 5% and the path is free only issue is I think you cannot destroy it right let's see oh you can okay so th there's really no point in not building paths it increases walking speed by 5% and it's free so what's the next thing we should do? We should explore the wilds by 
uh, cut through the forest to discover two blades. Uh, we also have the reinforced access perk. That's new. I can't remember that one. Woodcutter's camp production is increased by 50%. And Sacred Pyre. Lizard fire keepers are very adept at ancient rites. Plus one to global resolve. Yeah, resolve is over here. So uh, I think as long as these bars are green and arrows are pointing up, everything is okay. Um, so I think for the moment oh, we can assign can assign foragers. Um, this circle around here means that this worker has a 10% chance to produce twice as much. That that always happens if you assign a worker that's good at this certain job. For So it's um, the same is true for putting beavers in woodcutters camp. Okay, there's the next glade. What do we have here? Flax fields and moss broccoli patches. What's this? A stormbird nest. And there's some clay, I think. Yeah, clay deposit. Um, okay, we have more than five woodcutters. So this will unlock a new building. Three more humans. The crude workstation. That sounds like a good idea. Let's build some path around here. And then add a woodcutter's camp. Oh, not the woodcutter camp. Uh, the crude workstation. Uh, they can make planks and fabric and bricks. Um, you can see here the production costs uh, more resources and time since this building is equipment is not intended for the task. So this is the crude workstation. It can do basically everything, but it's very bad at doing those things. So um, I think there are specialized buildings for all of these. So there's some kind of sawmill, um, a tailor shop. And also the kiln. Yeah, you can see here um, workshop, brickyard, furnace, and kiln. So there are multiple buildings um, that are better at doing the job. Um, we have the foragers camp. We also have vegetables. That's great. Okay, so now we need to produce all of these fabric, planks, and bricks. I think bricks. Can we make. No, we don't have clay. So we need to collect clay. Um, we can now unlock a housing. Let's go with the human house. I think we have, yeah, we have six humans and six beavers, so either would be fine. Um, where can we get clay from? I think from the woodcutters camp. No, the stone. What is it called? Stone cutters camp. Yeah, this can collect clay. So um, let's rotate this. Build a path up here, just like this. Whoops. Okay, that's good. And then we need to build human houses. Uh, two places, so we need three of these. One, two, three. Let's make sure. Roads everywhere. Oh, there's also some clay. But yeah, for the moment, this woodcutter's camp should be fine. Uh, stone cutter's camp, sorry. Can collect stone, clay, and roots. And I think we just place in two lizards. Is human better? No, it's not. Doesn't mean. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, so all of these glades are explored, so what we can do is we can move the woodcutter's camp down to here, add more path, like this, and then tell it to cut through this forest and this forest, and also move this one down to here. Um, you can basically move every camp that's available. So all of the buildings that have this um, house with the arrow icon, that can those can be moved. So that should be all of the camps. Woodcutter, Stonecutter, Scavenger and Forager. And I think some of the industry buildings as well. Yeah, you can move the crud workstation. Um, we cannot move decoration. I think you cannot move housing. Um, you can of course destroy it. And I think you will get back 100% of the things. 
you um, spend. Um, the last task is get, getting an ancient tablet. Um, they can be found in dangerous glades, so those are dangerous glades. If we unlock one of these, um, some kind of event will trigger and we have a certain amount of time to do something against it. Otherwise, um, something bad's going to happen. And that can be really anything, from uh, resources getting lost to villagers being killed. So yeah, the, the game is not um, not as lighthearted as Lords of the Lanes that we are currently playing as well. By the way, that will continue, of course. So um, I'm planning on, on doing two different series at the same time, which is something I haven't done for quite a while. And um, I just like Lords and the Lanes, and I think there is a lot to discover, especially with the pace at which there should be updates. Um, we haven't seen any any yet, but um, the devs promised to. Um, to deliver updates pretty frequently and um, well yeah being sent a key at 700 subscribers um, is is awesome so I, I'm I can't express enough how glad I am that um, I was sent this key so we will of course cover that game um, if you want to see more of the game well hit a like on the video let me know in the comments below and if you like the content of my channel in general, please consider subscribing. That helps out a lot. Um, for example, you will get, <laughs> I will get keys from different developers um, if the channel grows. And so I really like playing different kinds of games. So um, yeah, as I said, it helps. Um, let's move. I think we need more clay so i think i want to move the stone cutter to here why can't i get move it to here oh i can no idea what was wrong there okay so we only need bricks come on where's the workstation Oh, there's also something glowing in the top right, so what's going on here? Oh, we can decide if we want to get more people. We can either um, collect two humans or one human and a lizard. I think I want to have um, a diverse population. Yeah, they are collecting clay, so I think... Yeah, bricks are being made, which is great. Um, let's speed up the game real quick. Well, there's another glade and we have a small abandoned cache. Let's check this out. Uh, we need tools. We have simple tools. I think to, uh, tools are only used for that, for discovering um, caches and other things uh, in, in the glades. Um, we can either send it to the citadel, get some money. So amber is the, um, the currency in the game, I think. And we get half a reputation point. Or we could keep the goods and then we will get parts, fabric and 30 insects. So I think we will do that. And here we go. We found an event over here. Oh wow. Um, investigate. We need lots of stuff to do that. And you can see here, Curse of the Forefathers. Disturbing the ruins of the great civilization can have great consequences. Can have grave consequences. Kills three ha random villagers. And I'm not sure if we can make that in 17 seconds. Um, let's remove one of these. And add that to here as well. So they are bringing over the stuff. Yeah, look at that. Now we have the ghosts. They will seek out random villagers and then three of them will die. Yeah, one over there, one human died. This a lizard, the firekeeper died. That's the firekeeper's not good if he's dead. Um we have We only have two lizards. Where's the second one? Oh yeah, it's yeah, the second one is investigating over here. Well, let's remove them from here. Add a new firekeeper. Um, because not having firekeepers is bad. When this fire goes out, we will lose. Or pretty much lose because the resolve of our people will drop. 
Um, we are done with the building blocks, so we can deliver that. And we can now select a cornerstone. Um, we can either select um, the exploration contract or the carpenter's tools. Crude workshops production is 50% quicker. That's already pretty good because the crude work station is quite slow. Um, but getting 20 reed and 20 clay for every discovered glade, that's a lot of resources. So I think we will use that. Uh, what do we have here? The cloth here. Yeah, that should be something that makes cloth a lot better. No, it produces coats, manuscripts and pack of luxury good. Okay, so that's not the one producing the fabric. It's the one consuming fabric. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, I'm not sure if we need that yet because I think we are almost done. Uh, we have unassigned workers. Yeah, come on, finish this job. Perfect. We now get the tablet. So the human should bring it back to the warehouse. We can assign the beaver back here and in completing this task we won the first level perfect so the village is secured but there's one more test for your skills so the tutorial is um, two missions and after that the main game should should start okay villagers with low resolve have started leaving increasing the Queen's impatience mm hmm Okay. Keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant passive reputation over time. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Satisfying your villagers' needs with complex food, homes, services will increase their resolve. Yeah, so yeah, each villager has a special house and if we provide that it will increase resolve. And then each of these have different luxury needs. Yeah, and it should be quite difficult to have all of these at the same time. Uh, farmers can plant only on farm fields, and those can only be built on fertile soil. Okay, that makes sense. So everywhere there's grass, we can build... Uh, crops are planted in the first, harvested in the second, okay. I think the texture of the farm changed. Build a farm, harvest grain, and serve some ale in the tavern. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan for almost every city builder. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Um, but before we do that, yeah, let's pick a blueprint. Um, that's the small farm, that makes sense. But before we start, um, let, don't forget the basics. We need woodcutters camps. Two. How many beavers do we have? We have three. Uh, but I think we should still have two of those space hostility of the forest for the tutorial hostility of the forest is turned down tuned down in future games more actions will increase its level and penalties over here okay uh, people grow more anxious so that's just something that increases over time as far as I remember well okay so we have this. Let's assign the beavers to the first wood cutter and start cutting through here to unlock the glades. And same for here and for here. Um, I think we can move that over the scooch. Just so we can reach all of that. Okay, path. Let's build a path here to here and then all the way to there and here as well. Okay, first thing is home and hearth. We need lumber, our woodcutter's camp, and we need two shelter. Okay, let's do that. One, two, and then we should also start with the farm. Okay, so the farm has a radius in which it can work. Um, let's move it that way. 
and then let's I'm not sure if we want to have three or two space. There are buildings that are two by three. Um, yeah, let's just skip the path to the farm for the beginning. Uh, it's at small farm fields. It can be over here. And we need to select the corner, uh, cornerstone. A barrel delivery or reinforced tools. So we either get 50% to amount of goods produced in the farm. That's pretty good or we can get five barrels per minute i think we need the barrels to produce ale so i will pick the barrels because i don't know where we can produce them or if we have the building to do so okay so we have the shelter oh no one shelter is here we go deliver that two more beavers perfect can send you directly to the woodcutter's camp plus a human what do we have over here? Looming darkness. The rampaging storm stifles the spirit of all living creatures. Stack, stacks with hostility level plus a uh, minus five to global resolve and regular storm. Homeless villagers have a plus ten percent chance of dying every six, six, sixty seconds during the storm. Okay, that's that's not good. Um, so this is the first season, Drizzle, and we have clearance, and then we should have the storm, I think. Um, a small abandoned cache. Let's check that out. Um, oil, jerky. Jerky is cool. That's a, that's a luxury good for the humans. Okay, so I think I want those. Let's send a lizard and a human. We'll keep the goods. And investigate this. Okay. Uh, oh, also, we need someone working over here. So there will be another human. Humans are proficient at uh, working at the farms. That's good. So in that case, um, we'll make you the lizard, and then a second human will go right here. Perfect. Oh, we got 25 uh, barrels from that contract. And we can select two buildings. The trapper's camp and the brewery. Okay, we need the brewery for the ale. Um, let's see what we can get with the trapper's camp. Oh, we can scavenge all of that. That's perfect. Let's move this camp to right here so we can build a road to right here. Maybe also a storage would be nice. Um, storage work kind of like an anno. So um, all the resources between the or all the resources are um, shared between the storages. You just need one storage in in your range. So if you want to collect resources from storage, you will just pick the nearest one, or they will just pick the nearest one. And if they want to deliver resources, they will also go to the nearest one. And you can see all of these lizards will now have to walk all the way back to the main building. So having additional storages um, all over the map helps to increase the production speed. Um, we have sacks of flour, not sure if we need that. We have 25 coats, that's awesome. And also some bricks, yeah, we'll keep that. Sorry, queen, but we need all of that for ourselves. Let's add a path through here as well, through here. Um, yeah, we currently don't have three workers, so maybe that one human should stop. We need to collect 10 grain, build a brewery, make ale. Okay, perfect, we can do that. Let's speed up. I wonder if we want to do vegetables or only grain. No idea. I think vegetables are also useful. We need something to eat. Now we have clearance. I want to have the sixth beaver for the woodcutter. So yeah, we can free up a human over here, that's perfect. And I think the trapper camp, yeah. The lizards are proficient in the trapper camp, so that's also good. Um, now I have... Can assign more humans over here. So they are now collecting the grain, which means... Can we already build the brewery? I think we need... 
Yeah, we need fabric, so we need the crud workstation first. The crud workstation is over here. Let's place that near the... Okay, let's do something like this. I'll then have a path through here. Just like this. Can we move that? Oh, we can. Um... No, I'm not sure. Let's just keep it that way. It's fine. Some weird space issues over here, but that's okay. So let's build a crud workstation. Um, we need basically everything. Now, what are the woodcutters doing? Uh, they don't have anything useful to do yet. So maybe we... Yeah, let's move them. Move them over here. Wait, that did not work. Just like this. And unlock this glade. Just like this. Um, need to assign... Yeah. Someone over here. Let's add another shelter. And speed up the game real quick. Small abandoned cache is waiting. Oh. Copper ore. More barrels and more bricks. I will start to send stuff to the citadel. We will get barrels. And we already have lots of bricks, I think. Uh, we have 10. I'm not sure how many we need. And we don't have any uses for copper ore. So let's do this. We really need more people. Yeah, there were more fabric and more bricks. Also another building. The smokehouse. Ooh, that can make luxuries like the jerky. Um, but we need, need more people. No people over here. So yeah, maybe we need to wait. Or will the farmers go around and help if they have nothing to do? That's that's pretty nice. Um, we still have six, nine homeless people. Minus two is seven. Uh, keep human resolve above that. Okay, we did this already. Perfect. Um, so this reduced to so we, we have seven homeless people, which means we need four more shelters. Okay, that's a lot of shelters. One, two, three, four, I guess. Um, there's the tavern. Perfect. Okay, so we have all the buildings unlocked that we need, and now we have the storm. We are not ready yet. Don't have everyone inside. It's not good. Yeah, that's the storm, so that means we now have a chance that people are dying. Uh, oh, there's fertile soil over here, so we can add more farms. There's also fertile soil right down here. Station is working. We can assign more people to do that. Um, the smokehouse is already okay. There's the tavern. Uh, but we need the brewery first. Yeah, let's build the brewery. Um, we need more space. Um, so maybe. Yeah, it's time to move to the glades. Let's go ahead and build a storage down here. So we can work over here as well. Um, a beaver and a human or two lizards and a beaver. I like that um, because we get more people out of that. And I think beavers are um, comfortable. Okay, so they will get additional resolve while working in the workstation. So that's, that's also pretty good. And we can get a new cornerstone. Um, grain production is increased. 
I want to have the efficient brewery, I think. Yeah, we can change the... Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we can change the ingredients over here. So instead of pottery, we'll use barrels. Um, we can make... Yeah, we'll use grain for the ale. And for the wine, uh, we are going to use reed. And for the mush soup, we don't have berries, but we have mushrooms. And we have vegetables. So yeah, that's perfect. We can use that. Just need to wait for this to be built. Um, there's the storage down here. Let's add more the path to here. There. We can also get another farm down here. Where are the woodcutters? Woodcutters over here. Um, I think we should unlock. Wow. Yeah, let's unlock more glades. Let's cut through here and cut through here. And this one, you can cut through here. You can move right there. You can add a path like this. Okay, so we don't have anyone homeless. The storage is done. We just need workers for the tavern. Um, let's check that. So humans are comfortable working in the brewery. And we have the 50% bonus, which is great. So the I think the 8 ale um, should be done pretty fast. Who uses mush soup? Pickled goods, biscuits, beaver housing, ale, leisure, education, brotherhood. Uh, is that just some regular food? Okay. That's just regular food. Okay, that's fine. Good. We know maybe we can already build the tavern. We have all the goods we need for that. Yeah, let's add the tavern right here. Build a path through here and some more over there. Okay, they are making wine. We don't have any grain. Why don't we have any grain? Something is using up the grain and I don't know what. Okay, that's bad. Maybe they are just eating it? Okay, weird. There is a new glade discovered. Oh, and we have a camp. Uh, let's send this to the citadel as well. So, um, we get the second half of this reputation point. And we have everything unlocked. Okay, so we have four tasks to do. The tavern is built. It just needs someone to work in here. Let's take the lizard for the moment. I think having a human in here would work better. But that's fine. They are collecting stuff. Um, let's get rid of the vegetables real quick. We only want grain, I think. Oh no, it's already clearing, so we are in harvest season. Um, let's go with some extra people. It's okay. And I think we should now have... Yeah, that's good. We should now have enough um, grain. Makeshift post, that's the one building the packs of provisioning and material. Well, let's move this to right here. We could add another farm down there, potentially. Uh, we'll keep these. It's biscuits and jerky, so this will increase resolve of all of our people. 
see. Uh -huh. I don't need that. Um, can you use meat for these? And oh, this is a lot of stuff we need over here. I think we might need a second crude workstation. Yeah, let's build that right next to this. How much wood do we have? We have a ton of wood. Yeah, so building this is fine, and then we can move some of the beavers that are currently in the woodcutter's camp right here and right there. Don't need all of you. We can move them to the workstation. Like this and like this. Okay. So we are producing ale. We have the leisure thing going. So I think everything's looking pretty good. Uh, but the episode's already 36 minutes long. So I think we'll make a cut in here. We'll finish the tutorial in the next episode and then we'll also start with the free game. As I said, if you enjoyed everything, leave a like, uh, comment below, subscribe to the channel. And um, if you like the game, well, go and grab it. Link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.